Nations, the United States, as well as the European Parliament for its use of death row prisoners, as well as prisoners of conscience, for organ transplanting. Now, a new documentary is about to blow the lid on the illegal organ trade that is allegedly worth a staggering $1 billion a year. And this is because, despite the fact that 10,000 organs are transplanted in China every year, there are only a tiny number of people on the official donor register. So this is the, this is the principal piece of evidence, or one of the principal pieces of evidence, is the fact that there's just so few people registered and yet the tens of thousands, or 10,000, 11,000, depending on the reports that you read, organ transplant. So the question is, where does this disparity, where does this colossal disparity in the numbers come from? So we've heard these kind of reports before, but this documentary, you say, narrows in on some evidence? Well, it narrows in on some evidence, narrows in on some practices, and it also indicates that it's on a state-funded level, or it's a state-sanctioned program, whereby these, are, these, are, or, these operations are carried out in either military or government-run hospitals, and they're carried out on these individuals who are, who are not volunteers. They're carried out on people who apparently are, uh, are still alive very often when the operations are performed without anesthetic. And that sometimes at the end of these procedures, they're still alive and their bodies are incinerated. And this is obviously, this, that, that aspect of it is is what's catching people's attention, but it's also that's based on hearsay evidence, it's based on former practitioners, former medical staff coming forward and you know, who have been involved in this and, and blowing the, effectively blowing the whistle on the whole operation, on the whole process. This is what one of the former, who only gives her first name, former nurses said. She said the following, I can testify, and this is in the documentary, the Canadian documentary, I can testify that this hospital forcibly removed organs such as livers and corneas. Some practitioners were still breathing after their organs were removed, but they were thrown into the hospital. What do you think is involved in making sure organ donation is ethical and fair to those who either receive the organ and to those donating the organ? Okay, for those donating the organ, um, I just think that they should know what's involved. They should sign saying that they're willing to give the organ and the family should be aware um, of what the decision is. So when they pass, everybody understands um, that the decision had already been made and the person receiving the organ, I think that should be on like the first come kind of first come first serve basis. No one should get it because they have more money or more stature. It shouldn't be, you know, based on, you know, race or I think when talking about organ donations, there are a lot of factors that are involved to keep things ethical and fair, such as what person gets the right organ and why. Uh, that's why there's ethical guidelines that go along with each person, such as uh, who's been on the w waiting list the longest, uh, their medical need, and whether or not the transplant will actually be successful. Some things that are probably involved in making sure organ donation is ethical and fair are that the person who's receiving the organ should probably be younger because they're going to have more life to live ahead of them, and that the quality of life after they receive the organ is going to be good because you don't want an older person to receive an organ that a younger person could have got when they're first of all first of all not going to have a lot of life left to live and it's not going to be you know great quality <laughs>